this is going to be a video on the old log splitter that I built uh, on a, a Toyota truck frame. We had opportunity to get the truck basically for nothing because it had been wrecked on a horse farm and it was wrecked bad enough in the front end probably wasn't going to be drivable but it didn't have but a hundred thousand miles on the engine and transmission and whatnot so I decided I'm, I wanted to make something out of it and I had put in a wood boiler in my house uh, the year before and decided uh, we needed a better way of splitting a lot of wood for this thing which is what we wound up doing with it so we fine tuned it a little bit and it's kind of it's kind of redneckly made, but that's the way we do things. It works. It works good. Uh, but that being said, uh, this is just a video of us splitting wood. We had cut, we had, had it already cut up when we started today. Uh, and when we get a big log like that, we just pull a little the top of it back and redo it. Works awful well that way uh, when we started this thing uh, the idea I had I wanted to still be able to drive this truck uh, when I driving it on the road or anything but we drive it from the barn uh, down to the log pile here on the farm don't we don't drive it on the road or anything it's not fit for that but uh, I have taken it down the road but I had to load it on a trailer and haul it to, to do a, a friend's uh, log pile one day but as you can see, Juan, in the background, we took the mini excavator, and when we, we got enough help, that mini excavator, he can feed us uh, a lot of wood uh, in a day's time. He can stay on it pretty much uh, and keep us keep us going, uh, rather us rolling the, the pieces around and, and trying to get them on. I got the log lift. Uh, works real good, but uh, we're just using it as a table on some of these pieces uh, looks like he's kind of close sometimes but uh, he knows what he's doing it's what we do for a living is excavating with excavators and stuff so but anyway that uh, it just it speeds up our process tremendously and you can also see the old slide we made on the end of this thing uh, just so we could push it up on a wagon it does all right as long as you stay there and kind of hip it help it go up on the wagon uh, our next project I'm gonna make a, a, a hydraulic elevator uh, so we can load wagons or put it in a big pile which is my goal in the future we're gonna build a I've got a hoop barn laying in the barn to re to build and we're gonna make a wood barn out of it and as you can see we went a, we put a movable wedge on this thing just a four-way wedge I didn't opt for a removable or, or anything more than four way it, it serves us fine for what we do uh, but that works real good as well uh, here's the log lift uh, I got a big long extension on it we don't really need that so much when we load it with the excavator but when we load by hand you can lay that thing down on the ground and load quite a bit of wood on it and raise it up and save some time working back and forth with uh, you know with raising and lowering it but with the excavator just like I say it speeds us up a lot when I started building this log splitter we came up with a big 6 inch by 40 inch uh, cylinder off of an aerial boom truck we had to cut the end off of it and enlarge the porch to three quarter uh, so we could get some some oil flow. That all that worked good but I got a 28 gallon a minute pump and it calculated down to uh, I think it was 11 seconds out, 14 seconds back on the stroke. I really wanted a 30 inch stroke 30 to 36. I went up with the 40 but I, I had to have what I had so Anyway, it was too big. It actually tore the back of the splitter up a little bit. And 
anyway it was too slow at the end of the day it was just too slow so I wound up with a 5 inch a 36 inch cylinder on here now and that's that's the ticket for me that's what I, that's just the right speed uh, I one of these days I'm going to put an auto return valve on it but it's a work in progress so that's how it works this is our unloading procedure at the wood building and where the boiler is is one of those little roller box roller skids we got at the local Kmart store when it went out of business and it works real good here's a little boiler room I built it's an outside boiler but I built a building over it I felt like it would be more efficient uh, there's the boiler there's our unloading the stuff rolls off the wagon rolls down onto a little table saves a lot of bending over uh, and as we go along you gotta watch yourself it will mash your fingers I, I got a blue finger now <laughs> from this day uh, when those logs roll down there one of them catches you just right it's gonna get you but uh, anyway, this is the way we unload. Oops, unload like this I said, with we got four wagons got to go in here today. What we've been splitting. That little bit of wood is already in there. So it's left over from last year. There's the boiler right there. Holds 400 gallon of water. Pumps it, I think it's 160 feet up to the house. Ties into the furnace. It keeps a 3,000 square foot house. Toasty. And, and we get free hot water out of it as well. And it just sits on days like this. It's just sitting there chugging along. Little system works pretty good. But at most of the time it's just one and I by ourselves doing all this. Anyway, so. Well, I'm going to let them finish unloading that little first of the little load or big load the last one and I am going to go through the field over here to the rest of the get I got three more wagons loaded over here there's a little burn I keep my keep my square baler Accumulator and one wagon in. A little places I've got three other people lives in between my shop and my house, but we're able to go around. And here's our three more wagons we've got split. We split those today. some logs we brought in just the other day just videoed that one the other day some old cedar logs laying there for whatever there's my first cut now alfalfa we wrap always wrap it it'll be sold looks like the furnace is kicked on unloading Got the temperature, water temperature set 155 and 150. It's a little bit cool, but saves wood that way. I want to take this opportunity to to say that I hadn't realized it till I did this video. I had been to the dermatologist two days before this. And man, he he shot my face about 20 different times with with uh, nitrogen, and we do it every year. I'm glad to do it, but I didn't realize I looked like like I did until I saw this video. Well, this is what happens now. Yeah, tomorrow about look right there. See? Yes. We got it full. Okay, okay. Here's another little view of our unloading rollers. I just put some legs on it where we can raise it up and move it in and out to the wagon. Uh, it, but it saves us a lot of time, so I'm really tickled with that little deal. 
That'll be enough to do me for the winter. There was four loads we put in there today. Split them, put them in there. Pretty good day's work. A lot of wood. Some of it's pretty good wood, some of it's garbage, but it'll burn. Okay, we'll talk with you later. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. If you've watched it this far, I most certainly appreciate it. And feel free to leave us a comment. Tell us what we did wrong. Uh, maybe, maybe even tell us what we did right. That's okay. We like to hear the good and the bad. Uh, but as you can see, we just want to let everybody know we appreciate uh, this United States of America and all the ones who have served, lived, and died for this country. God bless America. Thank you for watching. And as usual, as they say, like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you.